Pristine, untouched nature. Not for long. Thrills, spills and stunts galore at the sixth meeting of the Romaniacs Motocross Rally in Romania. It's considered the toughest multi-stage race in the world. Daredevils congregate here for the ultimate challenge on two wheels. Crazy five-day race through some really, really hard but beautiful terrain in the middle of Romania. It's a heap of fun. The first day of action is to determine the order of racing. The prologue is held in the Transylvanian city of Sibiu. With artificial obstacles creating a terrain that familiarizes participants with what awaits them in the rally. Thousands of spectators defied the rain to follow the spectacle, although for some entrants the first day will also be their last. A huge shot of adrenaline. Yeah. All adrenaline, yeah, it's good. And they're off. The route is tricky enough under normal conditions, and the rain turns it into a nightmare. The first day covers 186 kilometers of constant ascents and descents, but the riders are no softies. It's been up and down. I broke my shoulder, so pretty a lot of uh, crashes, I would say, this year so far. It was quite a lot of effort to get like my broken shoulder back. You know, the shoulder takes, takes a lot of time. The next day, everyone's surprised to see how much tougher the rain has made things. One by one, the riders arrive at the finish completely exhausted. I don't know what's happened. In the beginning, I have problems with the navigation. Then I had a bad crash. And now I'm in the finish. There's no rest day. The next morning, the punishing tour resumes. Man and machine continue to struggle against the inhospitable conditions. I started having some uh, problems with the bike. It kept um, shutting off all the power. I just pressed on for a while, just hoping it would go away, as you do, and obviously got worse and worse. Just watched some of the other guys come past, and then eventually uh, Daryl and Rian showed up. I saw Chris and I thought, sure, that's not possible. You know? And yesterday I had such a good lead from third place. Um, we had a look at his bike and uh, we, I made the decision to, to help him. And Rian offered to, to help me by swapping parts of the engine round, parts of the electrical system, until the fault went away. And yeah, he wouldn't take no for an answer. And that was amazing. And we swapped a couple of pieces over and spark again. And I kept going. Uh, if I was in the position and it was turned, I'm sure he would have helped me too. But it's not just material damage that they have to fear on the tour. Go, Ryan! The conditions were really hard, you know, and uh, it was hard to go fast. And yeah, I was trying to catch up after my mistake and I made, I made a crash. I hit the tree, like straight into the tree, you know, like a big tree. And uh, I crashed my bike and I uh, hurt my shoulder like really this time was, was the one that was enough. It's done. The rally takes the riders from Sibiu to Petrosha'an and back, each day covering between one and 200 kilometers, taking in all manner of precarious paths. The biggest challenge involves the technically difficult sections along steep and narrow tracks. Every 70 kilometers, the riders can get some welcome refreshment and tank up their bikes. The course is marked by signs and ribbons and is also stored in the riders' GPS systems as an extra safety guarantee. Yeah, this year's weather condition has been quite crazy. We had an extremely wet May where we were not even sure if we can do the race track that we wanted to do. The race track got so difficult that uh, some of the sections were just not possible to pass anymore. Chris Birch is worn out and covered in mud, but delighted to reach the finish line in first position. Bike ran absolutely perfectly today. The KTM was absolutely 100% perfect. All the little problems we've had were solved. Fix it and just 
Full noise all day. In this race, coming second is also a commendable achievement. By far, it's four days of the hardest thing I've ever done, you know, and uh, I'll be, I don't think I'll be riding my bike for at least three weeks uh, when I get back home. But it was good and I'll definitely come back next year again.